Hello and welcome back to another Grain Man Travels and today we're back in the US of A. Now we're actually on another map by a modder called TNT Modding and this map is called Lazy Acres Farm and uh, we're back to some big scale American farming again so while we're flying about let's just uh, run through some of the information on Mod Hub. So this map came out on the 6th of the 6th 2023 so actually yesterday and um, it's 128.53 megabytes to download. Um, as I said it's from TNT Modding again. Um, it's on version 1.0.0.0 and it's uh, cross-platform so it's PC, Mac, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5 and the Xbox series of consoles. Now it says on the uh, description there's 18 large fields, 11 cell points and 12 production chains so uh, it's going to offer you quite a few options there as well. And there's also a really large pond or um, area of water behind your farm with a nice bridge across for something a little bit different so you can use that to uh, fill up your animals and there's also uh, a pretty big farmyard to start and some very big machines so uh, as always um, I think we shall start with uh, getting our feet back down on the ground and running through our uh, first line of equipment. As you can see we start with an awful lot of equipment again as we do with most of the maps that TNT modding make so let's just run through what we've got so we've got a uh, a nice Deutsch Fahr 8280 TTV medium tractor with 287 horsepower now I think this one's actually the uh, warrior so one of my favorite tractors on the FS22 series of games then we've got uh, a case Steiger Quad Track 620 with 692 horsepower. We've got a Steiger Wheeled 620 with 692 horsepower. We've got a case Magnum 400 Power Drive with 435 horsepower. And then we've got another case Magnum 400 Power Drive with 435 horsepower. So obviously TNT Modding likes his case equipment, so uh, hats off to him for that. Then we've also got a um, John Deere X9100. Now this is a uh, Lazy Acres Farm mod one as well. So it's actually got 250,000 litre um, tank on this. And it can also do sugar cane. So obviously there's quite a few uh, mods on this. I'll keep an eye out for. Again, we've now got a uh, Crone Big X 1180 Forage Harvester. Which again is a mod one. So this one has actually got a... Uh, pretty uh, large 26 litre uh, hopper on it by the looks of it and also it's got the ability to cut sugar cane so again slightly different beat technology we've got a Roper Tiger 6XL so again a Lazy Acre Farms mod one it's got a 430,000 litre tank on it and I believe that'll probably have a header that can do potatoes and sugar beet we've got another uh, Bert Howd Bruin 4200 um, modded version of a uh, sprayer which has got a 42,000 litre tank on it got the standard lizard pickup and the uh, little John Deere Gator which is quite nice to see that on uh, something it's also got a, the ability to put things in the back of that so trailers wise we've got the modded Stroutman Aperion 3401 which again has got a 520,000 litre capacity and we've also then got a Brantner TA23071 Power Rush, Power Push, sorry, Plus uh, tray, which has got a 340,000 litre um, capacity. So, yeah, big boy capacities on this map again. And we've got a 15.2 metre John Deere header, a HT50F. We've then got the Crone X Collect 900 3 header, which uh, obviously allows us to do sugarcane and a few other uh, of the uh, crops on the, on the map as well. It used 750 horsepower, that one, wow. Now the beat technology one, so we've got the Roper RR XL 9x45, and this one can allow the Tiger to actually do sugar beet and potatoes, so again, a modded one. We also have the Amazonia Cyton 15001-C, which has got 78,000 litre, um, hopper on it 15 meter spread and obviously can do quite a few of the uh, plants that you'd usually have for a planter so again another modded one then we have the uh, standard john deere 1775 nt sorry not standard but it's a modded one again so again it's got a, a 35,240 liter hopper on it and it can also do all of their different types of crops we've got the 
ridiculously massive Breedle K165 modded one which has got 180 meter spreading width and a 250,000 litre capacity. And then we've got some new ones. We've got actually got a uh, Conskilled GX13005 P collector rear mower and the GXF 3605P front mower. Now I'm not going to uh, try pronouncing that name again because uh, yeah it's not the easiest name to pronounce but they're some very nice mowers I've used um, on another series so it's nice to see those in a starting farm. We've got the Pottinger Hit 16.18T tedder that's nice to see pretty standard that one. We've got the uh, KUHN GA15131 wind rower so that's again a standard one. We've also got a heavily modded Bergman Shuttle 49, sorry 490S forage wagon. So it's got 495,000 litre capacity again. Then we've got a slightly modded Case LB436 HD baler. I'm still not 100% sure how this one's modded, but it does say it's modded, so it might probably produce bales quicker actually, or you can go a little bit quicker than normal. I'm not really sure. Then we've got the two header trailers, so we've got the one for the uh, combine and one for the roper header as well. So yeah, some uh, big boy equipment as always though, really is. So this is your main farm area, there's your lizard truck and your John Deere gator, nice little garage, garage there as well. There's your house and the sleep trigger, now I think, let's try and look a bit quick here, I might need to uh, turn the running speed down a little bit, let's see how we get on. This is the bridge over to your farm, which is like a little island, which is quite nice to see. So let's check out some of the animals. So first off, we get a pigsty, a cow barn, a chicken coop, a sheep barn, and a horse barn. Now, let's see how they get on with these. So this one, I believe, is the pigsty. 270 head pigsty, so that's nice. That's one of the big equipment sheds, which has got the uh, all your big case tractors in. If you're a big case tractor fan, then this map's the one for you. We've got a solid pit there as well. And we've got two actually back to back. We've got another animal pen here. We've got the horse barn. So it's a 14 horse horse barn. We've got another wood shed there for storing some equipment, which is nice to see. Nice big open area again, as always with these maps. And then, oh, it's a big solage patch, it's straight through one, so that's fine. We've got a big cow barn. So, let's, i tell you what, let's go open it up, we'll run through the middle of it. Run, 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 run. We're getting there. There we are. And we're back over here. Right, oh, it's only an 80 head cow barn, that's quite surprising. It's not heavily modded. Uh, this would be a chicken pen. Chicken coop, 360, so standard again. And then over here, we've got the rest of our equipment. So I believe this is the last one, which will be the sheep barn. Yep, 65 head sheep, so that's not bad. And then we've got the nice uh, Deutz Warrior tractor there. Very nice to see. Uh, standard big uh, silo bins as well for your fields. And there's all your nice equipment. So there's the nice mowers that we talked about and all this custom equipment that we've got. So again, really nice big area if you're into the uh, massive American farming. A nice header there, that's all your other equipment. And then there's another shed here, which we get close enough, should hold, yeah. So it's got your uh, combine, your forage harvester, your tiger, your baler, and a few of the other bits and bobs. Plus you've got your mechanics bay over here as well. Now, that was on one of the other maps. Oh, there's a deer in here, hello. Um, but, I don't think, I think this could be a little bit fiddly to get a big bit of equipment into. Um, so that could be something to watch out for when you do play this map. So let's see what fields we get as well. So if we just go to the, the fields. So we've run through all the different types of animals. Right, what fields do we get as new farmer mode? So we get quite a big area actually. So we get field 10 and field 11. This is all one area by the looks of it. It is, yeah, so all the way down here as well. So that's not actually worth a lot by the looks of it. So if you're going to sell that, it's only worth £798. So, or dollars or euros, depending what currency you're playing in. So that's a little bit different. Okay, right, so I think, let's have a quick look. It does say in the description that the um, seasonal growth, so the crop calendar, and also the crops are default. And so is the soil map if you're running the precision farming DLC. So as you can see, it's just a pretty standard one. Don't think these uh, 
any custom types of productions either in regards to what you uh, what you can produce on the map. Nope, they're all pretty standard. We don't get anything uh, starting off for free either, but there does seem to be quite a few places to sell things. So selling sort of station north, northeast, southeast, etc. That's quite nice to see. So hopefully there should be some good price fluctuations. So um, contracts as always, it's a massive American map, so yeah, the reward is pretty high. Um, standard pretty much contracts, fertilizing, harvesting, weeding, plowing, cultivating, etc. So you could probably turn around some pretty good money um, with the equipment you've got. You might even be able, with the uh, massive great big John Deere combine, you might actually be able to do one of these fields in one go, you never know. That could be quite interesting. You do start off with one production, which is actually a uh, BGA. So if we visit that, this uh, comes as part of your new starter farm. So it's pretty good. It's a nice big one again. It's a Plan ET one. So that's a nice thing to see. So I think what we'll do now, we'll just have a quick look on the map on uh, the actual map layout itself. So pretty standard American map layout in my opinion. Got a ring road all the way out around the outside and you've got roads intersecting. Okay, you've got the middle to your farm there and then there's another road that comes down from the top around here, around there and around some of the big farms and then the uh, main ring road goes around the outside and down here and through like this industrial or commercial area which we'll run through in a few moments and then uh, yeah fields are um, pretty uniform and square so a little bit of difference in size of fields which is quite nice to see so obviously you start with uh, 10 and 11 and then obviously you've got uh, some small fields up here one to four etc so that's nice to see and uh, we've got some pretty big fields as well and we'll run through the field prices a bit later on in the video so yeah it's not too bad um, it's not a sort of map I would probably play myself I quite like smaller European maps, but um, if you're into big style American farming, this is probably another good choice for you. So let's start with some of the productions on the map. So we've got a selling station west, and we've got a carpentry, we've got a grocery mart, we've got a fast food restaurant, we've got a bakery, we've got a vehicle shop, and we've also got the gas station, we've got a dairy, we've got a red marble bowling restaurant, always nice to see that on there. Uh, Johnson's Farmer's Market, Cereal Factory, Animal Dealer, and the Animal Dealer again, around here. We've got the Sawmill, we've got another Sawmill, and we've got a bio Biomass Heating Plant, so that's nice to see. Uh, oil Mill, so you can do some uh, oil production. Selling Station Southeast, uh, Selling Station Northeast, that's our BGA we start with, where we are at the moment. And here we've got the sewing station central, kind of, the names are pretty standardised. Uh, sugar mill, spinnery, grape processing unit, so we can do some big style grapes I suppose. Sewing station north, another grain mill, and another grain mill. So yeah, quite a good variation in uh, productions, which is nice to see, and uh, selling points. So that's pretty good. So I think we might as well finish then with uh, field prices, which being an American map, I would say is probably going to be pretty high. Let's see. So if we wanted to extend into, hmm, what do we think? Let's go for 11. 334,000. Kind of thought it'd be quite expensive. Nine, 464. Right, what do we think? I would say five and six are probably the biggest on the map. Probably five. 757,000. 702,000, 515,000, 627, 17, 745, okay. So looks like field 17 or field, uh, field land 17, farmland 17 is the biggest on the map. So yeah, um, big style American farming with big style field prices. So uh, it's not too bad. Something uh, might be interesting for people to uh, play on. Something a little bit different. So if you enjoyed the video, um, give the video a like and uh, subscribe to the Greyman channel. And I hope to see you again soon. Many thanks.